Well guys, welcome back to this next video. I'm here with Jeff Batchy, the founder of Cool Beans Monthly. He uh, stopped by the house to bring uh, Beckon and I a little taste of uh, their holiday roast and their roast with the most. So Jeff, tell us a little bit about that. Well, the roast with the most is uh, a 50-50 mix of our uh, medium roast and our dark roast. I call it the roast with the most because you get a little bit of the acidity with the, uh, the lighter roast, and then you get a little bit of that bitter, the bolder flavor with some of the dark roast. So I call it the roast with the most because you get them with each sip, you, you kind of taste both beans and it, it completely fills the palate. Awesome. And what about the holiday? Holiday spice is, uh, it's, it's actually uh, the roast with the most, but with my holiday twist to it using uh, notes of clove and cinnamon. Awesome. Well, Jeff brought all his equipment over here. He brought his roaster and his uh, French press, which he says is the best way to make a cup of joe. And he's going to walk us through the process. Awesome. All right, Jeff. So tell us a little bit about the equipment that you have here and the roasting process. So I just measured out about uh, a little more than a half a pound of uh, Brazilian Arabica beans. And uh, we got this uh, home roasting unit here. Um, it actually cooks a lot like popcorn and it just it continues turning until the beans are fully roasted. Um, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and pour them in. And how long will that roast for? So we're looking for a first crack to be at about eight, eight minutes and then uh, we'll, from there we'll roast it for probably another uh, 15 minutes to um, anywhere from 30 minutes just to, based on this unit and each roaster is a little bit different with how it works but from what I found that this makes the best uh, the best bean right here okay and just real quick what does first crack mean first crack is basically just whenever the uh, the moisture within the bean um, so it, the way it starts is it's just really rock solid and, and hard and it's just you can't grind it in fact it'll break a grinder if you try to grind a, a, a green bean unroasted bean so as it as it heats up uh, the steam, the moisture inside steams and then it needs somewhere to go so it, it cracks um, a lot like the sound, it'll be a lot like the sound of popcorn popping. Awesome and what is it and this is uh, just a French press and a kettle here? Yeah so uh, a lot of people believe that and I personally believe that you get the, uh, the most purest taste um, of the bean, of the roasted bean through a French press. Um, I mean it's just stainless stainless steel mesh and glass, and so uh, no obstructions from the flavor. Um, and also the steeping process, just like in tea, um, it, it just allows the, the water to, to just fully take in the flavor of the roast. And so uh, from what I've found and from um, a lot of other people think as well that uh, you get the purest taste of, of the bean. Um, yeah, the kettle is just to heat up some water and uh, yeah. Awesome, so we'll check back in a few once the uh beans have been roasting for a little bit and see what they look like. Jeff, tell us a little bit about the different stages of the beans after or going through cooking. Okay, so you can see here, these are the raw beans, um, a green bean. Um, and you can see how they're a little bit smaller. Um, and they're actually as hard as a rock. Um, but as they go into uh, the roasting process, they get a little bit lighter in color and they actually expand. Uh, when they crack, they, they just uh, they actually lose the amount of density, but they uh, expand in size. And then as they roast even longer, we got our dark roast here. Um, you can see they have kind of this oily finish on top, a lacquer finish on top. Um, and that's because they've roasted longer and so the oil of the bean has come out onto the outside of it. And that's why you can see kind of a wet, um, wet looking bean there. So here we are about 15 minutes into roast time. We wanted to make it uh, extra holiday, so Jeff threw in some more uh, cinnamon sticks for us and uh, we'll see how it turns out. So we got our fresh ground beans here, and uh, we went the coarser grind because with the French press, we want them to be a little bit more coarse as they steep. Got our boiling water here. Pour it in. Pour 
And it's important to get that bloom on the top where it's kind of bubbly and foamy. You want that, that's called a bloom. And that's how you know it's gonna be a good uh, brew. Okay, so how long are we gonna let this steep, Jeff? We're gonna let this steep for about four minutes and then it'll be ready to drink. So we just plunged it. What do we do now, Jeff? Now it's ready to drink. Awesome. <clears throat> well, Jeff, man, thank you for coming over and showing us the roasting process and everything involved with it. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely, man. Yeah, guys, if you want to pick up a bag of uh, the holiday roast, which Beck and I are definitely going to enjoy, head on over to uh, coolbeansmonthly.com and uh, pick up a bag for some friends and family for the holidays. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.